Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. Uh, we are now officially in occupied lands, apparently. Um, where we visited the friendly talking spiders last time. And, well, already solved a quest for them. And we got another one, which we are maybe going to, to start solving today. Because the plan is to continue along the northern cave wall, basically. Um... And yeah, hopefully along that way, well, there, there is a chance that we won't actually just run into that Slith Shaman we're supposed to kill, but uh, we might. And, well, anyway, we're definitely going to encounter a few interesting things along the way. Uh, apparently we're also going to cross another bridge. I suppose I knew that from looking at the map. This narrow bridge looks like recent construction. It might even have been completed only a few months before the Slith Horde invaded. Its survival is unfortunate, is it? I mean, it's useful for me right now. If the Evernites had destroyed it quickly, they might have been able to slow down the Horde invasion. Well, I mean slow down, but surely the Horde is capable of building their own bridges if they need to. Um, anyway. Alas, Avernum has been arrogant and underestimated their foe. Now the bridge enables the Horde to move supplies and troops quickly. There are several Slith guards on the bridge watching you warily. Oh. They suspect that you might have switched sides and are fighting for the Horde. That's why they haven't attacked yet. Okay. I mean, that would be a first. Slith's just assuming that and not immediately attacking. Mm, they can't see any other reason why Evernight soldiers might be this far behind the lines. Arrogance is not solely a human trait. That's good to know, at least. How tough are we talking here? Okay, that's... This guy, at least, looks very, very doable. Oh, but now they're turning hostile. If they assume that we might be... Uh, <laughs> that we might be traitors... Why didn't they actually, like, try to talk to us to confirm or, or disprove that? <laughs> huh. Okay. Also, why is only that one guy attacking us? Who knows? Maybe his colleagues are gonna come join us now that they <laughs> that they saw what we're doing to their friend. Or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, the good old good old Harry with their back turned towards us. Neat little trick. Wish I could do that. Well, I suppose we can, technically speaking. Okay, uh, there's Lulu, who was a little bit behind on level ups. Or on experience, I suppose. I mean, everyone's slightly different levels anyway, but, you know. Um, let's see here. Right, we did bring her intelligence up a bit closer to Hawks, and I, I guess I'm happy enough with where she is right now. Uh, I mean, she's do she's been pretty much doing fine in terms of mana, anyway, uh, for for a while now. So, you know, in that regard, I don't strictly need to increase her magical efficiency either. I could just go straight for Spellcraft. Um, of course, she's also lagging behind in terms of her main uh, spell skill. That's so expensive. I mean, I could just wait another level up and give her, get her to pre-spell 16 at least. Was there something... Restoration? Restoration does require 16, so... Yeah, maybe not the worst idea. I definitely don't need to go all the way to 17 for Divine Host. I know, I'm, I'm sure it's it's pretty powerful, but... You know. You know me at this point. Um, yeah. I think for Hawk it kind of makes sense to go to 17... For the um, for the arcane blow, the most powerful attack spell. Um, yeah, and divine restoration, the most powerful healing spell. Sure, let's let's go for that. All right, but um, first we have these guys to deal with. I mean, if they don't want to join us without encouragement, let's encourage them, like so. Okay, there were more. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, they're all going to attack you anyway. Uh, I suppose... I don't know, maybe if we run just a bit further back... Okay, one of them parried. Uh, okay. They have that special move that's actually kind of scary, holy crap. Um, didn't see that coming. Are you... running? Oh yeah, okay, this one's running in terror, so we don't need to worry about that one right now. We do need to worry about the constant parries, though. Uh, what now? Oh. It's not MJ, it's PJ for the stronger heal. Okay, that's some decent damage. Obviously, we still didn't kill that one, but that's okay. Um, good. Very nice hit. Just hoping for that, of course. Mm, okay. Not amazing. Ah, do we just attack? No, I think I'm going to play it safer and actually heal them both, just in case they have their... Um, their area attack ready yet. Oh wow, we even killed that one. Well, okay. That one did. They can also throw javelins, apparently. Which they just chose not to do up to this point. Okay. So, they're definitely a little bit tougher. They have a surprising number of special attacks for just regular non-boss um, fighters. But obviously we were still... They were still no match for us. But apparently, I mean, it's not not too big of a surprise, I suppose, that enemies are starting to get a little bit tougher the further we, the deeper we go into occupied territory. Okay, miners. Hmm. There is a mine here, burrowed into the north wall of the gallery. You are surprised that there's still anything worth mining out here. This area has been picked over repeatedly by prospectors over the last century. And yet you can see several Slitzerikai slith around the fire, eating a meager meal. One of them, probably a mage, is working on a stone construct. Engrossed in their activities, they haven't noticed you yet. Is that so? Sentinel... Sentinel tender. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we won't easily get to that tender... So, oh, okay, there's also an, an icy watchhound. Hmm. None of these enemies seem particularly tough. They, I guess just every every slith, even if they're not specifically a warrior, <laughs> is just trained in the art of, uh, of parrying. Um, yeah, I mean, these aren't technically warriors, but I suppose... Every slith can fight to an extent, and even these these miners. Uh, I wonder if I should. Yeah, I, I think I want to try killing this mage as quickly as possible. I mean, that's usually a good idea. Also, maybe this one's actually trying to. Oh no, never mind. I I thought maybe they were they were going to convert this currently non-hostile uh, construct into an actual battle golem of some sort. That would then attack us as well, but uh, unless it transforms into a completely different unit, uh, I don't think that's something we need to worry about. Uh, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and slow everyone down? We are dealing with a decent number of enemies here. Okay, the mage... Uh, ...hasted them, that's fine. With any luck, that wasn't even enough to undo our slow. Two of them were affected by that. I don't know why they all grouped around Lulu. I'm not a huge fan of that, to be honest. She didn't really do much at all. She really only attacked the mage. I guess they're, they really want to protect their, their leader here. Hmm. Well, of course, the usual problem is that we don't really have an amazing way to Attack a single target. Like, magically. Okay. <clears throat> Can we please just take out this freaking miner? Thank you. And now you... 
can take out the mage. Good. I, I'm sure that helps. Yeah, you're quite surrounded here. Uh, maybe try to keep your health up. Hmm. I mean, they're already all attacking you, right? So I guess there is no point in not... Well, I could try Divine Retribution. It's so expensive, though. But I will. Eh. And as usual, the damage is somewhat underwhelming. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we got a bunch of them unable to act again. It's fantastic. Uh, this guy might be running away, I think. Try some divine fire? Eh, yeah. I mean, at least it's cheaper. Oh, oh. That was just stupid. That was just really dumb. It's fine, though. Kill that guy, kill this guy. Mass heal. <laughs> Don't just attack with your <laughs> with your sword. Actually use a spell this time. Alright. <sighs> okay. Well that was not not so bad, despite <laughs> Me messing a few things up, but I usually do, so, you know, no surprise there. Okay, just some mining equipment, makes sense. Oh, the mage dropped. Just a curing elixir. Way to get my hopes up. And the inventory is already almost full with mostly junk. Uh, okay, we're actually... Giant Rock Smasher. Okay, so they do have some more battle-ready constructs here. Hmm. Maybe if we retreat out of its line of sight. I guess I'm gonna reapply haste, just in case. Okay, no, it did definitely see us. Oh, but it seems surprisingly susceptible to physical attacks. I mean, it does resist a lot, but I was expecting it to take less damage than that. So that's a pleasant surprise. Wow, Hawk's mana is not looking amazing. I guess he did start out the session not quite full. Maybe I should try to be a bit conservative. Okay, we got more coming, and that one fireball really angered this construct. Why did you walk all the way around? <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. Another fireball. Yep, and <laughs> even the other one just... <gasps> what are you doing? No! There are more. Stop it. Okay. Kill this one, please. Thank you. Yikes. Um, attack this guy. He'll hawk and hope that he just doesn't get punched twice. Okay. Well, they can't really get to him now. That's good. Um, there. Probably still worth reducing their armor. Heal yourself. Attack that guy. Yeah, you should be pretty safe to just... Attack them however you want. Lightning is, as usual, pretty effective. Oh, okay, no. Never mind, there was a way around. Okay. Ooh, they drop a bunch of stuff. Uh, what? <laughs> um, well, actually not as much as I first thought, but some nice gems. I'll take it. Save that. Now, could this mine have anything to do with that shaman? Hello there, stone servant. Because this is technically northwest of Formello. I mean, there's quite a bit of area northwest of Formello. Hi there. I 
how about smite? Uh, okay. one at a time, and if they don't have a, a chance to run after one of my squishier characters, they're not much of a problem. Spell that barrier. Oh, wait. Let's not forget to click on this one. Uh, okay, purging crystal. Oh, purging crystal, actually. Wow, we, we're up to ten of those? way deeper down. Actually, it doesn't look like there is a... Oh, there might be. No, never mind. It's just a surface level of mine, I suppose. Wisdom Crystal, though. Heck yeah. Don't mind if I do. Right? That's all there is to this mine. Okay, so no deeper layer here. I'm I'm okay with that. So a little, little micro-dungeon, basically. Oh, hi there. What is going on here? Kiara is going on. You're surprised to find a group of armed Nephilim sitting at this encampment. Yeah, uh, only like a few meters away from both the, the occupied bridge and this uh, miner camp. Hmm. No Slesarika is in sight. I mean, not anymore, but there were until very, uh, very shortly ago. What? No, uh, whatever. Their leader approaches you nervously. The others keep their bows and blades close at hand. The Nephil raises his hand to hail you. Uh, I am Chiara. It's a surprise to see you here. Rare to see those from Avernum. Good to see you. I'm glad. I ask you, why are you here? Maybe we can help you. Uh, I mean, that would be nice. I'm an Avernite soldier here to infiltrate Horde lands. The Nephil nods. Oh, I thought so. We we know you are Evernites hiding. What? We know there are Evernites hiding out here. We are looking for them, and we have found you. Well, I mean, we're not the ones hiding here, so. Anyway, our masters will be pleased that we have found you. Your masters? We serve the Slith Horde now. Oh. We were sent out to hunt Evernite spies, and I was actually about to. To comment, or to to speculate. That uh, that these might actually be part of the horde, and maybe we should not be just so openly divulging all of our secrets. I mean, not that it matters because obviously we're going to kill them. But uh, no, I kind of wish I had been more suspicious and actually, you know, prepared beforehand before approaching them. Oh well, and I think I have found one. Well, four actually. This will be very good for us. Actually, I was just joking. We're we're here to join the horde. Uh, Better get going. Run. How is that supposed to work? Why do you serve the Horde? Because they will spare us. The rest of our tribe are gone. Only we live because we were wise enough to join the stronger side. I mean, I... Yeah, sure. I can't really blame you for trying to survive, but still. Um, and you're trying... You're going to try to kill me? Of course. We will take your head and insignia and, and present it to the Horde. Then we will get more food and better treatment. With luck, Gavasa Oz will be told of us, and we will rise farther. I'm grateful to you for stumbling into us and giving us this chance. Well, it will be a pleasure to kill traitors and servants of the Horde. I don't know if I would have, would have necessarily put it that way, but sure. Kara says, I knew there would be battle. Yet another way to prove ourselves to the Horde. You're way too into this. I mean, thankfully it's only four of them. Strength-wise, they seem similar to the the Sliths we've been fighting. Okay, just carefully maneuver around. Uh, I guess actually we're going to just attack you like that. I wonder what kind of uh, what kind of fighter they are. He is, I guess. <laughs> Uh, if he's going to try and run away, it's possible. Let's uh, try to make that, yeah, basically, well, to make that less likely by attacking from this side, reducing armor, already dealt a 
good amount of damage to them. Protection is probably a good idea. And even though there's not that many of them, let's... Let's be careful. Okay, so... Yeah, he did actually kind of move out of the way. But in such a way that we can just uh, get right back to him. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just burn them all? It's gonna aggravate the rest of them, or rather, you know, aggro them. Ooh. No, never mind. For whatever reason, they're not attacking her at all. But she has taken some considerable damage. Their boss is going down, though. Oh, can we step away and still attack? Oh, they're actually running. Well, never mind then, I guess. Let's not waste our action points. I mean, she could have actually just stepped up there, and but we don't have to. We have plenty of enemies to deal with here. I'm even going to do one of these, even though it's not very efficient. I think we're going to be fine, though. Okay, now one of them is starting attacking her. Alright, that takes care of uh, Kiara. Okay, please don't parry. Okay, never mind. There you go. That's more like it. Okay, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's probably gonna get shot some more, so... Let's keep him healthy. Did we kill that guy? Nice. Why do you keep running further away? That's just annoying. <sighs> well, maybe if we all run back up here... Yeah, okay, they should be coming closer now. With any luck, they're gonna run all the way into melee range, like they sometimes do. Ooh, kill this one. Nice, nice. Yep, there they are. They ran all the way here without even attacking. They easily could have. Obviously, they, they saw us a long time before reaching the, the end of their action points here. It's just, I mean... Well, so much for that little ambush. Uh, sparkling one, strong days. Yeah, I mean, that's not useless. Sure. And the inventory's full. I mean, not completely, not everyone's inventory, but still. We are actually getting there pretty quick. Alright, well, that was that. Maybe not the last encounter of that kind. Now, what is this? Based on the crumbling sections of track and abandoned rusting carts, you suspect that this was once a mine. Okay, another one. Tenevra, actually, is what this area is called. Hmm, not a name I remember from past games. Not that that means much. Um, once was a mine, however, someone else has moved in. Several crystals have have been set lining the roadway, and a large magical barrier blocks the entryway. You can't see any movement on the other side. The only clue to the new residence of this place is an obelisk bearing one word, Tenevra. You don't know what that means. That's true. You shout, but nobody comes to let you in. Without help, you aren't going to be able to get in. Uh, I mean... We can dispel some barriers. Okay, not getting in that way. Literally just says to Nevra. And, okay, these are not the kind of barrier we can just dispel. Fair enough, I guess. Maybe there's a back entrance somehow? Uh, where? I guess it's, it's this tunnel up here, huh? Yeah, that's where to Nevra is, okay. Hmm. So I'm guessing this is not where the shaman is, and also not what I was briefly thinking when the crystals were mentioned, where we are going to find these crystal shards. 
north of Fort Draco. Hmm, I mean, this is literally where that is, so... Well, we'll see. We'll keep going this way. Because we're gonna get pretty close to Fort Draco. Oh, first. Oh, this might actually be its northern wall. Hmm. Suspicious little tunnel with absolutely nothing in it. But, uh, no button. Okay, we are officially at Fort Draco. Uh, what do you think? Is there any chance that maybe uh, at least one of the uh, the transport pylons still works? Will we actually have a shortcut back at some point? Because that sure would be very convenient. Maybe it wouldn't make a lot of sense in terms of story, and, you know, yeah, it would make sense for the, the Horde to have smashed them, or the Evernights, while fleeing, smashing the pylons so the Horde doesn't use them. I don't know if that would have technically been an issue. I mean, you have to be attuned to both... Uh, to both your, well, your, to your destination, basically, if you want to use these pylons. So the Horde couldn't just uh, use the pylon they find here in the occupied lands and, you know, just teleport into the Great Cave or anywhere without having been there first. But still, uh, the pylons um, we have come across so far have been inactive or destroyed. I think, though, that's mostly for gameplay reasons, because, you know, we are supposed to feel kind of kind of trapped and cut off from, from direct support, even though we can technically still return, right? It's just just inconvenient for me as a player. Because, ultimately, the passage of time, the, you know, the, the time that that journey would take my characters doesn't, doesn't matter. There's no time limit, and food is no real concern. So, it's really just inconvenient for me. But, oh well. Maybe eventually... The game's going to ease up a little bit. Um, you approach the gates of Fort Draco, one of Avernum's oldest and strongest fortresses. It is not currently held by the Slicericae. In fact, it doesn't look like it's held by anyone at all. It is eerily quiet, and you can see nobody moving inside. The gates are huge steel, are huge steel, closed and glowing with a faint green light. If the nearby sign is to be trusted, they bear powerful magical wards, enough even to keep the Slith Horde out. Not that they haven't tried. The wall is covered with cracks and burn marks, evidence of the extreme brute force the enemy brought to bear on the on the entryway to no avail. Any hope of getting supplies or assistance from here is gone. You'll have to move on. That sounds very definitive and very final. However, we have explicit business inside that fortress, so there has to be some way in. You'd think that Axel gave us that quest would have mentioned something, told us, you know, g given us some t some kind of tool, or told us about the fact that the fortress has been sealed. Unless he just didn't know? I don't know. Maybe he did mention it too. I mean, it's been a while. Hmm. Well, <laughs> unless there is a way to exit it from the riverside, which of course we also cannot actually access lacking any boats on this particular river here, for now. I don't see how we will get in there. Um, okay, so we could go down here, but no, let's just uh, look around this area here and then keep following through with the original plan, following that northern wall. I suppose we'll take a quick look in here and immediately regret. Yeah, mostly because this is actually part of this map here, which I was specifically not going to explore yet, but oh well, I guess we're dealing with these ghosts now. That don't look particularly bad. It's just a random little encounter anyway, so no reason why this should be particularly these should be particularly tough. Too bad I don't have a an area uh repel spirit kind of spell. That would be nice, but... Oh well. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, not so much for those ghosts. Armor elixir. And yeah. Okay, you were poisoned. Not a big deal. Poisoned and slowed, actually, as well. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you look out over the farmlands east of Fort Draco. Once lush and productive, the blights left them abandoned and useless. There are unusually, unusually few signs of battle here. The farmers fled well before the horde arrived. There are no signs of inhabitation here. You don't hear anything beyond the regular wildlife, and you don't smell the smoke of cook fires. Everything is eerily calm. And yet you can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Of course. Of course it wouldn't be so easy. But, I mean, is there anything more sinister going on than just hidden horde spies? Horde uh, scouts and sentries? Which, you know, would not be surprising at all. In fact, it would be completely expected in a situation like this. Really, more things that we can technically sell. So, of course, I'm required by law to pick them up, filling up my inventory even more. And just give me cash money. That's, that's fine. That doesn't weigh me down. Just some, some lizards wandering around. We got spider webs on this building. That's not boding well. Oh, hi there. Uh, cr what? Oh, Chris is. Oh, huh, not just any random horde spy. There's a lone Slicerikai standing by the side of the road here. He's wrapped in a cloak. His face is swathed in shadow, though you can see many trinkets and necklaces around his neck and arms. He looks familiar. You believe that you have seen him before, watching you from between the bars and Lord Trinket's lair. Have we not run into him on more than one occasion, too? Not sure. I, he definitely has been mentioned a lot. You think that this was the Slith Infiltrator who equipped that mad goblin. You stare at him, and he stares back. Yes, he says, his voice full of malevolence. You know me. I know you. And, and you know I have come for you. Oh, really? Is this going to be the great showdown? Kind of uh, unexpected. You are Cress East the Shadow. Yes, you know me. You know I walk at will through your lands. You know what I mean, what I do. The doom I bring to your people. And now that I see you, I know that my guess was correct. Your guess? I heard the reports, the sightings, heard of the missing soldiers, and I saw the patterns none, none of the other warriors could. Even now they don't always listen to me. I knew from the evidence that you were here, so I came here to wait for you, and you have stumbled into me. I mean, yeah, I guess we kind of did. You can see him fingering the short, vicious blade that hangs from his belt. He is a small, wiry figure, but he doesn't seem too intimidating in a fight. You've, you've faced worse, have we? And now that you've found me, what do you want? I must kill you. I will present your head to the Scourge. I will gain glory for this, for stopping your threat when none could. Such confrontation is not my way, but sometimes it is the only way to get respect. Is there anything you would ask? Any final words before it all ends? I kind of have my doubts that we are actually just going to fight one of the three warlords here. Or one of the th three leaders, I suppose. And actually win? Hmm. I mean, it would be nice. Just an added bonus when we were really only going to going after the the aging warlord. Um, but yeah, I have my doubts. Why did the Slith Horde invade in the first place? Pfft, I mean, the usual reasons, probably? Honor. Once all these lands were claimed by us, then the humans came and took them. We will have a wound that cannot be healed as long as you remain. And that is enough talking. It is time. Oh, okay. Time for what, monster? Time for me to do what my servants could not. You have earned the right to be dealt with by me personally. This will be. This will bring me great influence with the scourge. He draws his blade with one hand and touches an, an amulet on his neck with another. As you prepare to rush him, trying to stop him before he can do any tricks, his form shimmers, and a moment later there isn't one Chrysis. There are four identical copies, each wearing charms, each bearing a blade. 
These tricks... Oh, these tricks don't scare me. Actually, they kind of do. Oh, he also teleported... T t teleported far back? Wait, no. On the map, we can see the four copies already. But we can't see them here yet. Okay. Cress East response. Uh, four sibilant voices in perfect unison. I won't bother with asking you to surrender. Heroes like you can only be killed. Be ready. It is time. And they advance upon you. Okay, yeah. There they are. Chris East, Chris East, Chris East, and Chris East. Okay. Well, there was no avoiding this, apparently. Well, we're going to do the usual. And we're also going to head inside here. While we have the chance. Wow, even you are allowed to act before they do. Huh. Hey guys. Fancy meeting you in here. Well, individually, I mean, hit point wise, they don't seem so bad. Obviously, the, yes, there are four of them. If only we could close the door, that would be so nice. <laughs> that would be actually really amazing. Couldn't we, maybe, technically, if I exit combat now? I just want to see if that's theoretically possible. Actually, I don't think it is, because, um, yeah, a nearby enemy. So, even it's not just a matter of being in combat or out of combat. It's a matter of having enemies nearby, so never mind. Combat will continue. Um, we're going to attack you and deal decent damage to you. Okay. I'll use your turn to... Reduce their armor. Right. We'll want this. Actually, we also want Ward of Steel. And I'm going to slow them first. Okay. But I will activate Cloak of Blades when I get a chance. Okay, now we do a mighty blow to the back. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, let's not take any unnecessary risks here. Actually, we're going to... Uh, sure, might as well use Shield Breaker on that guy. Wow, that dealt no damage at all. Huh. Okay, anyway. Uh, Cloak of Blades. And we get hasted. That's nice. So we can actually... Well, let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's let's start with some acid. I guess I didn't necessarily need to boost that one. Okay. Well, obviously we just keep attacking this enemy here. I mean, I'm assuming we just need to defeat all four of them. By the way, it's honestly surprising that only two of them ended up following us in here when at least one more could be attacking us right now but obviously I'm not complaining but um, you know it could be the situation the kind of situation where only one of them is real and the other three are just you know mirror images and we have to find the correct one and defeating an incorrect one doesn't do anything for us but they all attack us I mean both of these do attack us so I'm assuming that we actually just have to defeat all of them which for now doesn't seem particularly difficult. Which, of course, is in itself um, highly suspicious. Yeah, okay, so this guy's just taking way less damage. Maybe that's... Maybe that indicates that this one's real and this one's just a clone. Oh, there's another one. I had to say something, didn't I? Anyway. Um, what, what can we do? Other than just keep attacking. Yeah, okay. This one just... Keeps taking generous amounts of damage. I like it. We'll heal you. Um, sure. Oh, okay. Lightning damage is not the way to go. They do ha seem to have different types of resistances. Uh, the version of Kres is you were hacking was only a shade. It fades away, leaving behind nothing but mist. The other copies laugh and press the attack. Blades at the ready. Okay. Sure. Uh... Good for you guys. I'm gonna move you over that way. 
and I guess we're going to keep working on this version. Yeah, okay, so this one definitely has a lot of physical resistance. Hmm. I guess we did already reduce his armor. So let's let's try doing that to this one here. Okay, this one also has a, a kind of blade shield or... Oh, no, that was just a riposte. Never mind. Mm, can you do anything useful? Yeah, we want to keep you healthy. Acid, okay. <clears throat> this one's also pretty resistant to acid. Okay, yeah, they, they do have different types of attacks as well. Well, I guess I have to choose one to kill next. Yeah, wow, this one is not taking any physical damage, though. <laughs> Maybe... Oh. Interesting. Even when there's literally only one one path. Uh, in this case, if it involves switching targets with a... Or switching places with a, an ally, the AI will not allow me to do that. Okay, well, in that case, just keep attacking them, then. I do wonder if this particularly tanky one is the real one, or if that doesn't mean anything, and they really all just have different resistances. Yeah, this one seems more reasonable to defeat. Yeah, okay, we're also going to cure that acid. But they both didn't really take a lot of lightning damage, did they? And I think they, they were also both pretty resistant to, uh, to acid. I think I'm going to slow them down some more, just in case. And... Maybe just try fire? I have no reason to assume that this is going to do particularly well, but... yeah. And there's the final one, hey. Alright. Not sure why it took them so long. That is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it's just gonna take a while. Keep healing him. I guess through another small heal. Maybe oh wow, never mind. Lightning works very well. Why didn't I think it didn't? Uh stop it please. Okay, that's suddenly suddenly things became very scary. What the heck? Oh no. Okay, no, they had some sort of temporary Damage reduction going. Okay. And that's good to know. But now I'm very worried about Hawk's survival suddenly. I... I mean... I guess I'm gonna move him over there. So he's only directly attackable by one of them? Yeah. Yeah, that's better, for sure. Keep going with this. Unfortunately, the the one I was I'm trying to kill currently is the one that parried that lightning. Okay. Oh my! Please stop it. Okay, this one's going down slowly but surely. Just have to survive here. Just don't die. Please don't parry. No haste either, but okay. The version of Chris Izzy we're hacking away was only a shade, okay. Right. Well then. Next one, okay, this one's, I guess, back to not taking a lot of damage. Hmm. Maybe that does mean that this is the real one. But since they all do attack us, I guess it's still... Okay. Okay, yeah, this one's resistant to fire right now. Hmm. Weird. That's group heal, okay, and shield breaker on this one, which I think might not have been active before. Uh, also, acid might not have been active. Okay. This round, they just decided not to do much. Ooh, that was nice damage. Um, I mean, health is not looking critical right now, but you know what? 
why take any chances? There, top everyone off basically. What was that? Freezing cold. Didn't do anything. Nice try, sucker. Okay. Oh, that's that's such a good hit. Close. Huh. Oh, this one's down to one hit point. Uh, just in case it just happened to. Nope. Never mind. So that's another shade. Yeah. As expected, basically. But I mean, if this is the real one, they're more than half dead. That's nice. Cast more acid on them. Oh, your attack on the copy of Chris is Lens. Something splatters on the ground. You look down and see what it is. Blood! Actual blood! This is a real version. Wh which one? Oh, unless we did actually, like, kill or almost kill the correct one? His subterfuge discovered Chris is lets out a long, angry hiss. No! This is not my way! This is not my way to kill! Or be killed. I let myself be careless! I will wait for you! And when you find me again, I will be prepared. Yeah, okay. You lunge at him and try to shut him up permanently. Before you can stop him, he pulls a crystal from a chain around his neck and dashes it against the stone floor. A concealing mist rises from it. And a good old ninja trick. When the white gas clears, you're not surprised to find that Kress is, is gone. Actually, both of them are. <sighs> of course. So, actually, which... I guess it must have been this one, then. So, the different resistances was... We're not really indicating anything. I guess that was just how it was. Or they they did activate individual like damage reducing abilities. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, I guess the one that I did bring down to one hit point was the quote unquote real one. And if I had just happened to pick that one first, I guess that would have ended the, the fight sooner. Oh well. So ultimately, we did not gain anything from that at all. But of course, it, um, we were always going to have that encounter at some point. So, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, hi there. I did not necessarily mean to click on the door quite yet, but we are still mostly buffed, so... Why not, right? Cave widows are obviously a non-issue. Of course, there's also an Arania. Okay. Totally fine with that. Ooh. I will take a one shot. The Aranea itself came out here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they tend to be pretty squishy. And thus, not a big deal. And that's that. Uh, spine shield, yes, please. Always happy to see more of those. I was contemplating using one of those against uh, Chris Is, but I guess ultimately decided against it. Because, well, I guess we didn't really need it. It never felt like a particularly threatening fight at any point. Ooh. Okay. Crystals and cash. Very nice. Did we look in here? We sure did. Uh, the seer didn't drop anything. Okay. Right. Looked around here. Uh, looking at the map earlier, I noticed. Oh yeah. Okay. I saw the the little triangle for a uh, staircase of some sort. Hello, Shadow Lecky. Oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe we were actually supposed to fight. Uh, the shadows clones the shadow clones out in the open and we would have been we were supposed to be attacked by these shadow lackeys that definitely would have complicated things if we just avoided that by being smart and luring them into a building 
Um, you know, I'm absolutely not sad about that. Yep, okay. That definitely would have been... Would have added an, an additional layer of challenge to this encounter. If these aren't just random... Random enemies that were supposed to be... That were, that were just hanging out here. But, I mean, obviously they're called literally Shadow Lackeys, so... Um, I guess it's pretty fair to assume that they are indeed in league with the Shadow. Fireballs are not going to do much here, but I think I'll be a bit conservative with his mana. Shadow Lucky is fleeing, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. Actually, you know what? Just, just skip your turn. It's fine. Okay, you will actually do a mighty blow. And you can even use Shield Breaker on this guy. You know what? There. <laughs> and immediately he gets attacked because everyone hates mages even when they don't really do much. More stuff. Cer wait, a ceremonial longbow? 13 to 39 damage. Hmm. Well, that's a shame, but it's valuable. It's the same value as a blessed longbow, actually. Huh. Okay. What a useless item. <laughs> Why does that even exist? Only to briefly get my hopes up. Amarian wine. Wait, we have some of those, right? Yeah. Oh, hi there. <laughs> you weren't interested in fighting, huh? Understandable. Trying to hide back here, but... Yeah. Okay, and more random loot. Heavy boots as well. The narrow part of the map, I see. Okay. And this is just some storage cave. Yep, sure enough. Almost up to a hundred. Ooh, platinum ring. Nice. Uh, almost up to a hundred uh, bags of meal. <laughs> okay, a random nest of basilisks. Surely those weren't living here when they were still. Well, they were still. Uh, farmers living in the area. Well, I guess these enemies definitely deserve some more of my attention. Fire seems to be working surprisingly well. Even though they are technically a type of lizard, but I guess they are kind of associated with ice because they freeze us. Yeah, they're shooting beams of ice. Thankfully, somewhat ineffectively, despite our not having any buffs up, really. I guess regular basilisks aren't that bad. I'm done. Obviously, there was no line of sight to this one. Should have moved. Oh, no. I only has been frozen. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, 
just keep trying to freeze her. Okay. And they were guarding absolutely nothing. Oh, never mind, there's a nest curing elixir. Of course. And of course we, we have random some sort of random pack of enemies in pretty much every single one of these buildings. Because why not? Goblin assassins. We've seen a group of goblin assassins before, and I was wondering who they were going to assassinate. Like, oh, what? I didn't mean to move you out of the way. We just want to wait outside. Okay, that's number one. Well, I blow. Divine fire. Blocking the way for most of their friends. Okay, some healing is in order. You know what? Time to conserve some more mana, because obviously these are also not the most threatening enemies. Okay, sure. Finish this one off to make room for the next one. Just to speed things along a little bit. Mighty blow, come on. Yeah. Okay. Acceptable. Very acceptable. Well, you almost even got another attack in there. <sighs> Not what I hoped would happen here. Um... Okay, I'll definitely have to heal her, first chance I get. Mm, I mean, is she gonna be okay? I don't know, I guess we'll just attack this one goblin here. Should be fine, okay. Actually, it's totally fine, because they're slow, or we're just that fast at this point. Okay, wow, whoa. That was a huge multi-attack. I like it. And this time we did not get moved forward even more to run into potentially some more assassins around the corner. Sure, I guess I'll take these. Ah, there's a way down, yeah? I mean, that's kind of what this looked like. Like that sort of arrangement we've seen so many times before. Hmm. Uh, okay, looking at the timer though, I guess we'll check out this basement next time and see if there are even more random goblin assassins hiding out there, and if there's any connection to whatever cave this might lead to. Uh, we'll see. There could be a, a whole dungeon or network of, of caves down here that takes, uh, that, that takes us a whole episode to explore, or maybe it's just a, a small distraction before we can actually move on uh, further eastward on our original mission but uh, well we'll find out next time as always i thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and i shall see you real soon bye bye